Hi, thanks for stopping by. Let's take a look at some of the interesting projects we're working on this summer, starting off with Reverb. Reverb is a versatile web-based cloud-deployed game engine that supports multiple runtime environments. The Reverb platform is designed to have the end user tethered to the cloud at all times. This structure allows us to do some pretty amazing things in terms of gameplay on connected devices. With this design, we have built-in control over end-user interaction as well as sharing. Reverb is a game engine that uses the metaphor of a stage. We bring forth to the stage audio and visual elements that are under your control with a number of on and off toggle switches. Think of this as an audio-visual mixing console with at least 16 basic soundtracks and four different accent tracks. Let's take a look at some of Reverb's basic engine capabilities. Event listening. The visuals respond to the beat of the music. Toggles turn on and off soundtracks and visuals that are brought to the stage. The visuals are layered on the stage back to front in the priority that you have selected them. You can add and remove any and all elements at all times. All of your interactions are being recorded to be saved and shared as a session. Clicking on the Stage State button applies global transformations to all the visuals on the stage, such as turning them from color to black and white. The Stage State can also be pure algorithmic, where all the visuals are being generated procedurally without using any video files or pre-created graphics. This is all happening on the fly at your screen. No two users see the exact same thing, since we randomize the parameters to keep it interesting. Clicking on the background button changes the background and provides another global transformation to the entire stage state. The entire stage is also an event listener. Here you see multi-touch accents such as cymbals or bass notes. This also shows how we can use multi-touch for creating and authoring in real time on the actual image. Sprites can be drawn to the stage at mouse down locations. Here the event listener has constraints applied for sprite control, playlist, size, and echo. Since we are driving the stage with a script file from the server, the user can always sit back and be entertained. This stream can be random or sessions submitted by other users. Let's take a look at the versatility of the Reverb Engine, now using Coke graphics and Coke music. Let's look at an example of how the Reverb Engine can be used to accept user input to drive a skeletal system. These puppets are not skinned, but show true runtime user-driven dancing, ideal for gameplay with motion detection or with massive multiplayer games. In full edit mode, users have control over the program directly, enabling them to author frame by frame, element by element, and by layers. All media can be edited over time and ordered back to front at a very precise and granular level.
The entire reverb engine is the underlying technology for PictureSonic. We have mapped the reverb buttons into the photo, turning the picture into a music application. 